It's being cold those days. I've got this machine for about two years now and I thought it would be super interesting for some of you to learn how it works, why I wanted so much a CNC machine and how is it going. CNC milling machine, it's a computer control tool that paired with an automatic tool change, it's kinda robot. So if you set up your work, it will repeat it for you and attend it. And that's awesome, because you can do another thing while it's working. But for me, the most important thing is that it can run complicated parts, let's say for example a curvy shape, it can control the fits and speeds of your tool so you don't break or burn, or burn tools. You can also uh, make thread milling and that's all things that was impossible to make with a manual machine before. So, how it works? First of all, you have to draw or design your part in a software. For example, I use Fusion 360. So you have to introduce all the measurements, all the shapes, all the holes, everything that defines your part. Once it's done, you have to program each single operation that the machine has to perform because it has no brain. So if you tell them to, to crash, it will crash. So you have to be very careful and introduce all the speeds, all the movements, all the possible uh, shapes that may interfere in the movement, everything. Once it's done, you pick this code that it's generated, that it's called G-code, and with a pen drive, you introduce this information to the computer in the machine. In the machine, I run Mark III. It's a very simple software that will execute each of the single operations that we have introduced. Before you start, you have to set up every single thing in the machine. That's the most important thing and it's when most of the crashes come because you introduce the wrong, the wrong measurements. So, first thing, you have to square your bias, you have to uh, measure your 0, 0, 0 in the, the machine so it, it knows exactly where is your part then you have to set up the length of each of your tools that you're going to use so it knows where is the tip of the tool and when it, ha it has to start contact with a part because if it's not right you will start uh, cutting things that you don't want or you can crash the machine in many in many places 
And finally, so when you have all set up, you are sure that everything is right, you hit the cycle start, that it's a green button, and it starts uh, making whatever you have decided. Something that is super important is to be there the first time that you run a code, and if it's a mistake and you see that it's going to crash, you have the emergency button, and believe me, I've pressed that button many, many times, and, and it saved me from crashing the machine many, many times for stupid mistakes mo most of the time, but yeah. I decided to buy this machine because I wanted an affordable machine so I could learn how to make parts, how to set the fits and speeds, and how to make proper fixturing. And my biggest fear was to crash a super expensive machine. I think there is two ways to learn things. One is by going to school and another one is by making things. This second one it's more risky but you learn the things forever because it's a lot harder. I am super happy with the machine. It's a Silex 5. It's a 24,000 spindle. It has three axes with servo motors and it runs Mark III. It, uh, it runs on 220 volts, so it's easy to set up and the footprint is really small, so it's super nice. The pros would be that it's affordable, it's really accurate, at least for what I'm doing it's precise enough. It's uh, small and it's silent. And the cons, or at least the issues that I had, is that the bed is flat, so the coolant doesn't drain so all the chips stay there and it's super hard to clean also uh, the windows and some parts are not super tight fit so it has leaks and finally um, the paint it's it started to peel really really early Something that you have to keep in mind is that if something breaks, you will have to fix it yourself. The only time that I had an issue like this was uh, because an end stop uh, failed. So they actually provide me with video tutorials explaining how to fix my specific issue. So I'm happy with their service. I hope you found this video interesting. It's been a little bit different from the normal ones. But for me, having a CNC milling machine has been a huge deal and I wanted to share with you. I also hope you understand that we've been saving money for a lot of years here in the studio to make this decision. It was super scary when, when we made it because, of course, it's a lot of money and uh, I had to learn how to use it. I, I had to... Uh, solve so many things like importing the, the machine, getting the thing into this space uh, and, and yeah, new technology, new processes and, and it has come all together nicely and after these two, two years now it's, it's a super important part in the studio. It's been awesome to make prototypes to make small series and it has solved so many things in the animation studio and it's a huge part of uh, our rigging department, Kinetic Armatus, and yeah, the, the smaller batches are all made here. If you are a maker and you are thinking into something like this, of course it's a lot of money, so my advice would be the same that we have done with all the tools that we have. Think in a way to make money out of them so we use those things for us but we also make parts to sell so that way we, we can have those things and get a little bit of profit so it's it's the way we make the business so it works and it's it's not easy it's not fast uh, but it makes the company grow and more able to make things and it's it's hard work 
but it makes us happy. That's it. Today is a good day to say follow your dreams. I think if you put a lot of effort and time, you can solve many, many things. Like when this arrived, I didn't know anything about CNC machining. I didn't know how to program the parts to run code here. It's something you can learn with the time. So yeah, if you have a dream and you think that you can solve all the obstacles, go for it. Ah, yeah. See you. Bye.